Today we are recreating Pinterest outfits again. I love doing these videos because I feel like, I mean, that's where I know I find a lot of inspiration. I'm sure a lot of you guys find inspiration on there. And I think it's just fun to like really try to see what I can put together from just items in my closet. Like obviously I'm not buying things to recreate these outfits, um, but I'm getting as close as I can with the pieces that I have. It almost just like re-shows myself that I can actually like emulate the vibe of these outfits and the look of these outfits without having to buy new things. And also just to get some more outfit inspiration, I feel like every time I make one of these, afterwards I'm like, I love this outfit, I wanna wear this, and then I add it to my like, thing in my noggin, you know, like my filing cabinet in my head um, of like outfits I want to wear and it gives me like a new outfit. So anyway, if you guys enjoy, feel free to subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. Okay, let's get into the first one I have here. It's kind of a little bit more funky as, like, as far as the colors go and for winter. Um, so let me just change. We're starting off here. Um, as far as color goes, this is like the closest I did. I kind of just flopped them. You can see she's wearing like a green sweater and then like blue pants, but I, I like I said, flopped them. So these are my Donnie sweatpants with the vintage fleece ones. I love them, love the color. Um, and then this is from the lobby. It's brand Rationale and I just like it. I think it's cute and I love the color with it. But, like we still get the same color vibe. And she's wearing a blazer as you can see. So I'm going to put on my little plaid blazer. She also has like a patterned scarf and it kind of looks like my plaid one that I have. Plaid or checkered, but wrap it around tuck my hair in get the same little vibe going I'm wearing like a neutral hat so i think i'm going to go with my um black hat i like this better i feel like it pulls it all together a little bit more and then my white rebox okay and then i'm wearing my big chunky socks if you guys can see these and then as you can see here she's wearing a bunch of rings in her picture big chunky rings and so i put all of mine on and all of these and all of the jewelry that I'm going to be wearing throughout the whole video is actually Anna Luisa, who's the sponsor of today's video. So thank you to them for working with me again. You guys have heard me talk nonstop about them because they really are like one of my favorite jewelry companies. My everyday wear, most of it is Anna Luisa a lot of the time. That's because their quality is literally like unmatched, especially for the price. But Anna Luisa is actually 100% carbon neutral and water neutral, which I think is so cool. And I personally always think it's important to highlight that point because I don't see that a lot in jewelry companies. I love that they're sustainable. I love their price point. I love their quality. That's actually the biggest thing their quality is so good I have had I've had these two rings for like over a year I want to say a year and a half um, these are my favorite rings I wear them the most often I love them I love that they get prettier with wear you can tell that I wear them and I love them and they don't turn my hands green I've paid so much for rings that still turn my fingers green or like give like a residue off of it I've never had that issue with them and then, and then same with these earrings these are like my most complimented earrings like when I'm going out I always get compliments when I'm wearing Anna Luisa especially this ring is newer and I've gotten like three compliments already on it and I love it. I also love gifting Anna Luisa. Everyone that I've ever gifted it to is always obsessed with it. Like I told you guys before, my mom still talks about it. And I actually just placed an order last week because they are running one of their biggest sales, which is buy one, get one 60% off, which I think is so killer. I will of course put my link down below in the description for you guys to check out um, to get yourself a gift or someone else that you love a gift. I'm telling you, best thing to gift. I feel like you can never go wrong with gifting jewelry to yourself or to someone else. I don't know, it's one of my favorite things to gift. Okay, I had already placed an order last week, but now I'm just now seeing that they have these engravable like necklaces and bracelets bracelets on their site and I'm like these are perfect for literally anyone I think in your life so I wanted to make sure that I noted these and highlighted them because they look so cool and you can literally put like any name on it or like and I'm such a name freak I love putting like my dog's name on everything so I thought these were really cool and I wanted to show you guys but anyway thank you again to Anna Louisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video let's get back into this outfit because I have one more part that I think is important so she's wearing because I think she's yeah she's wearing sunglasses in the picture and I have a thing cute pair of sunglasses to put with this hopefully they'll give me the same effect as her so here we go here's the final product for outfit number one all right now let's go to outfit number two okay so we have our base layer on um, everything that's under the jacket but this one I liked because she just looks so chic um, but I also like the denim with the black boot. Like, I don't do that that often. For some reason, I always gravitate towards, like, black or gray denim with black shoes. Um, and so this one, I think she's wearing a trench coat. And I think I can still get away with a trench coat right now if I were to, like, layer three layers under it. So that's what I'm doing. I have these black, um, what are these, like, these black, like, booty heels that I'm going to wear. And they're a little bit small. So we're just going to stuff my feet into them. Okay. They go on without socks. Can you see those? I think they're so cute, but if you have a recommendation for black booties, um, like a good pair, kind of like what she's wearing with the like, it's not super thin heel, but it's not it's also super tall. It's just like cool heel. We're just gonna pretend they went in. So base layer, good to go. Now we're gonna do a black trench coat, or well, I mine is a 
dark gray trench coat, but I'm gonna make sure you can see the sleeves under it. I like that little touch of detail. Okay, this is what we have so far, and then a brown bag. Thrifted, brown bag, it's not really like a light brown like hers, but it is brown nonetheless. So, this, look, what do we think? Also, you guys, it's December 13th, so we all have to join in and sing happy birthday to Miss Taylor Swift. Ready? I'll start. One, two, three. Ha this is the outfit. What do we think? I think it's fun. This is cute. This is definitely something I would wear. And it's basically all thrifted except for the sweater, which from Urban Outfitters a long time ago. So we love that too. I'm also wearing gold hoops, as you can see. So I still have on my big chunky gold hoops from Annalisa. So. I haven't even finished this yet, but I already know that this is an outfit that I'm going to be wearing. So I definitely had to change up a few things. You can see my base layer here and in the picture, she's wearing a sweater that's really fuzzy and looks really cozy. And it definitely adds to like the feel of the whole like outfit, but I don't have that. So I went with this cause I wanted to keep the same colors cause I really liked the colors in this. Um, and so I have this sweatshirt, actually thrifted, um, but a sweatshirt and then these are just like some knit pants. Um, and you know, it looks like she's wearing denim or like cotton pants or something. This is what we're starting with, and I feel like it gives the same feel because of the colors at least. And what I really like about this is that it's layering. I am really excited for it because I think if you guys are like me and love blazers and love trench coats, and you live in a colder climate, then I think combining the two is like your ultimate like cute cold weather outfit. Um, and I've kind of been doing this a little bit recently here and there of layering something like this that's a little bit more textured or something under a bigger coat or like a longer coat or something. It's just like the same color that she has. And then I'm going to add my trench coat, which is this one, recently thrifted. If you haven't seen that thrift with me, feel free to check it out. Here's like an up close of the textures and colors together. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. And this is already like making me sweat. So this I could easily wear out even on like a colder day. Maybe not like in the negatives or anything, but I don't have Timberlands, which she's wearing, which actually looks so cute with this outfit. Um, so I'm just going to wear my Uggs because I couldn't find Jared's. Jared, I thought had Timberlands, but I don't know where they are. And I'm going to add some sunglasses to get the full feel. Okay, next outfit. I think it's the outfit number four, I want to say. All right, so for this one, this is my base. My plain uh, gray black jeans, thrifted, 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 sorry. Um, and I'm going to throw on this trench because she's wearing like a leather trench in it with a drawstring. And I have like my, I have one that's in a similar color, but it doesn't have like the, um, the belt on it. And I'm like, I feel like the belt adds to it, like tied, you know what I mean? So I'm going to do this one, even though it's a little bit off on the color, but I actually love this trench coat. Is this how she has a tie? Okay, like that. So that it's still kind of open on both sides. And then I'm going to take a gray um, sweater, which I wore earlier. My biggest, chunkiest gray sweater. I see Matilda specifically do this a lot of the time where she takes a sweater and uses it as a scarf. And I think that's the most genius thing ever. If you don't wanna buy a scarf, like literally a sweater. So what she does, it looks like, is she like lets it drape like that and then flicks it over and then maybe tucks it in so it doesn't move as much. You can tell it's a sweater, but at the same time, what does it matter? It keeps you warm. So that's what it looks like. Let me get my hat too. I have my hat and then I'm going to put some sneakers on just because Matilda's always in sneakers. So you can't see her feet in this. I'm just like, you know, putting my own uh, thought process on it. Okay. And that's it. I feel like it's pretty simple to achieve the same style again. I love the idea of just like using this as a scarf. It's honestly almost a little bit warmer. And also you can like get like too warm. You can tie it around your waist or if you get too cold, you like put it on actually under your like jacket that you're wearing. So anyway, look, nonetheless, um, let's go on to the next one. Okay. We are on the last one. This is the look. Um, I have my faux leather pants from Abercrombie that I love so much. Some white high top Nike Air Force Ones um, because that's look, it kind of looked like, she, I don't know if she was wearing, she, she was wearing Nikes of some sort. I couldn't decipher what. This top is free people. I like it because it has like the holes in it. I don't know. I like the fit of it too. I'm sorry if you can see my red bra, bra through it, but sweater is thrifted and it's not the exact color she's wearing. I couldn't find like a gray one, but I think it's close enough. Obviously this outfit is not super 
like warm so i obviously i'll tell you exactly how i would style it like with a jacket out but i wanted to add one in for those of you who are not in like cold climate um so this if it's not super cold out near you or just to wear under something like i feel like this is a very cute outfit just to have for whenever you go somewhere and you take your coat off and you still have a cute like base layered outfit and i like it so exactly how i would style it with a jacket and this one keeps you super warm this one's from wild fable by the way which is a target brand i found this at the goodwill like last year I want to say but I bet you can find it on eBay a lot of Target stuff you can always find on like resale sites like eBay Poshmark Mercari Depop that kind of thing but yeah Wild Fable faux leather uh faux Sherpa whatever the last outfit like I said if you guys would like another one of these let me know down below I love doing these I just think it's so fun to try to replicate an outfit so anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you liked it I'll talk to you tomorrow in the next vlogmas love you